Now, this is my emblem, but not for YouTube as yet. This is me on YouTube, Benny Marner. Go to Benny Marner. Hi, I'm Ben. Now, this tip is about a few of my books. I have a lot of very old ones, but this is uh, a few that has come in handy at the moment, and some old tools. Now, it goes without saying, this book is essential. Machinery Handbook. This is edition 25, which is used quite a lot. Very, very useful tool. Very useful. Machinery Hornbook. Now here is a book I have had for many, many years. And when I was working its engineering industry training board. But I got this given to me by an old man many years ago. It has come in handy to me over the years. Now that's better, the lighting was a bit off there. I have used this book on many occasions. Screw cutting square threads. But on loads of occasions I have used this book. A lot of very good information on it. It's a very old book. Now here is a book I've got very recently. I all all different projects in it. I must go through it and see if there's some useful tools that I can make. All different projects. Machine shop projects. South Bend lathe works. Shop theory. 1942. It was first published. All, all different tools, look at that. There's nights when I'm sitting in the house just contemplating on tools. I, lift, I would lift a book and go through it. I like looking at these old books, some very nice interesting tools in them. Prepared, prepared by Henry Ford Trade School, 
1942. Now, I said I had a lot of old books I would reach for at times. Now, this is a book I have done a lot of work out of over the years. Still would get a few hints out of it. Some of the projects I'm doing. They are very nice to have, these old books. Now here is a couple of books my daughter got me. Now this is a, a catalogue of start 1927. Now my daughter got me, this is a more recent one. Start Tools. This one, 1927 catalogue. I have went through it quite a few times just looking. I really like the Star at Tools. Like Moore and Wright. But here is a book I would reach for on a regular basis. I love just going through this book. A book of tools, machinery, supplies, 1895. My daughter got me this, I think about three years ago. And I just love going through it. on a regular basis. All tools. A very, very interesting book. I love, it's times I just can't leave it down for a while. Detroit, Michigan, U.S. of A. A lovely little book to have. Now that's a few of my books. I want to show a few of my tools that are very, very old. Some of them before the First World War, some before the Second World War. Still in use, I still use them, this is it. Now this one is from the Royal Navy, date on it, 1940. Two. I have a few of these extra dies. I have some of them. Now, this one is well before the First World War, I think. About 1910. I seen on it somewhere. I still takes dies. I have dies that it will accept. It needs well cleaned up. 
when I get around to it. Now this is a, a two-speed hand drill. I have, I was using it, I have a little wire brush on it. There was a date, it's hard to say, 1904. Whether that is the date of manufacture or not, but it was 1904. I have this quite a few years, a lot of years. I got this, so, uh, maybe 40 years ago. Still working well. Lovely wee tool. Now these are Royal Air Force Second World War. Tops. Good solid tools. Quarter. Seven eight three quarter three eight one inch hard to see just at the moment they But look at this one. Inch and three quarter. Two inch. Good solid. Now that is only some of my old tools. Now that is a, a few of my books, a few of my old tools. Of the old tools, if they don't work, there's no use keeping them. So that is a few. I hope some of you have found this of interest. Thank you for watching. This is Benny Marner. Go to Benny Marner. Thank you.